this is Sinny Chong here. Today we're gonna play Hush Hush Episode 4. And I'm back on playing Hush Hush and it took me uh one month to give a break because um Yeah, remember what happened in episode three? Because uh why is Hush Hush never came out so I decided to take a big break because too much important things lock and yeah i'm pretty sure i need to get a, a big break guys so i know this one is really too much to doing this so i decided to give a little break out for a moment so uh we have jasper and blazon here hello i'm sorry for that so we got a new sketch that was coming out so I decided to get a few step back because I have to do Meal's date first and Eli's date because I don't know this has to be the correct way because the instruction told me to date Meal on evening so we had to do date Meal all right Jasper let's date Meal hopefully this is gonna be it I'm gonna use my phone to cheat, and that will be for full reason, okay? Okay. As you walk up to the arcade, the same sign, sound, and smell from earlier begin to creep into consciousness. Somehow, even from outside, it has a four bomb named Musk. However, Mio quickly unlocks the door and lets you in. She gives you a quick wave and an awkward side hug and then flourish her hand towards the bar. Welcome back to Rated A Arcade, the most romantic hotspot in town. Hey, Mio. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Jasper, you gotta, we got an ear piece with you, so don't worry about that. I'm here with you. Tonight on the menu, we've got cheap beer, infinity quarters for the arcade, and the most brutal miniature golf course this side of the Lazy Links. Yeah, true. I will be your date tonight. Please feel free to make inappropriate comments. But make no mistake, in this arcade, I am a goddess. You're going down. Well, uh, ready to me that I'll be the one going down tonight. It's a critical error. Do you do what you will. I already won. Whoa! <laughs> Ten points to Slytherin for that zinger. Gosh, I'm a little speechless. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Well, they say turnaround is fair play, and I don't play fair, so... Turn around? Damn, that was a lot smoother in my head. I'm just gonna give you the slow clap and move on. You got me all flustered here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what brings you to Sombrosa anyway? Was it our expensive-ass craft beer industry, or the unusually high number of topless co-eds on our beaches? Well, uh, I was just looking for a tourist trap to fall into for a month. Sun, surf, game, flirt. I hear ya. I tell you, if I could haul one of these arcades down to the beach so I could play in a bikini, wow. <laughs> Well, that would be incredibly nerdy of me to admit, so I'm going to just alt F4 and abandon that thread. Yeah. That might be very unsettling for you, okay? In any case, I've requested bikinis as an official uniform option here at Rated A, so maybe someday my dreams will come true. Well, I broke the ice. I suppose it's your turn to conduct the interrogation. What's on your mind? Um, tell about your stuff, eh? Oh! Oh, I don't know about this. Um, I'm gonna save. Save, because I don't want to get a little having a trouble with this bit. Yeah, okay. I don't know about this, okay? Tell me about yourself. You probably like stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah, I love stuff. I have a place full of stuff, and I'm always doing stuff, too. Oh, right. Which conversation path will you take next, I wonder? 
so let me guess, you're a gamer girl with a heart of go on the search for missing diamonds? <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, you're exactly right. And I would have found them too if it weren't for those meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is a Scooby-Doo reference! Oh, <laughs> who is that? Dad referring my childhood memory? Thank you. You look like you've got something to say. Or an itch in a place you can't scratch. Either way, do it. Um... Great. Uh... Let's play a game in three words. Gotta find yourself? I don't know. Oh, yawn. You sound like a BuzzRead article. Here are the top ten reasons people use words. You'll never believe number five. Crap, I was wrong. Whoops. Uh, oopsie. Let me just pull back and speed up a bit. So, uh, load. I'm gonna fix it up a bit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. All right, uh, don't worry about this one. So, time for the big question. What's your favorite video game? Well, you tell me which kidney you like best and I'll get back to you. All right, enough talk. It's my turn to choose. Now we get to the heart of the date. A little game I like to call Get Smashed Bros. Wait a minute, is this the thing that's going to get out dialogue sensor in Australia? This is definitely one of those adult situations the ESRB warned you about. Uh, yes. I always get censored for it. I don't want to get demonetized for sure. The rules are simple. We play Road Combat 2 Mondo. Every time you lose a stock, you take a shot. Lose a bout, and you lose some clothes. Sound good? <laughs> Set my controls to invert. I play 98 style. Oh, geez, Jasper. Get ready for your luck. Ooh, look at old Chun-Li McDigo here. Think you got the goods to easy peasy me? Yeah. I'm gonna start things fair and not use my main. Seeing as you're fighting out of your weight class. Um, Blazor, please don't look. Uh, I had to close my eyes for a bit, so that's too much. Alright, the tequila is ready. The stage is selected. You better grip stick, because here I come! Give it your all. Sure, you can defeat it. An alt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I guess luck wasn't a dump stat for you. That last stock was a total BS. Well, looks like someone gets a peek at my bra. But you don't get to keep my shirt. Seriously, it's like my only shirt. Jesus. Oh, yuck! That tequila ain't what I would call top shelf. Oh, jeez! Oh. Uh, you okay, Mio? Alright, time for round two. You'd better not be getting cocky just because you had one lucky round. Alright, good luck. Go, Jasper, go! Fight! Play to win! Wow, did you just frame perfect my entire super? That was sick. You've got some mad skills. Thank you. Yeah, that's shot number two. Okay, you're going down this time. My honor demands it. Fight! Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me just save. Uh, save. Um, this one. All right. Um. Okay, I think the description is saying events console mo give her a chance. I think that's what it has to be. Yes! I won! <laughs> I knew I had it in me. In your face, loser. Oh, wow. Great job, Jasper. <laughs> GG, Mew. GG. JK, JK. <laughs> well fought. And to the victor go the spoils. And by spoils, I mean take your shot and let me see those undies. Oh no, Jasper! <laughs> oh no! Gosh, I'm not sure if you can call a game of Get Smash Bros a success if no one gets naked. But I'm certainly a little smashed. GG. <laughs> you too, Mio. You too. Hmm, looks like this bottle is almost finished. I'll take one for the team and give it a good home. Uh oh! <laughs> 
That was gross, but not nearly as gross as it should have been. Don't worry, the stuff on the bottom always tastes better than on the top. <laughs> good, good. You seem like an expert on these things, so I trust you completely. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little tipsy. <laughs> Something on your mind? You look like you've got a few questions burning. Well, um... So, may I ask you, kind of ridiculous? Yes, but only because you seem to be an expert on the subject. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, if you could be any item in the Smash Bros, what would you be? <laughs> the fan! Fear me! Oh, uh, I better censor it. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is making me uncomfortable. For sure. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Because you're too young to watch. And don't. Don't watch it. Please. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, can I ask you a sensitive question? I don't know. Can you? Uh, can you prove to me you're a real gamer girl? What's your thing? Lol, no. You caught me. I'm actually a fat bearded guy in Canada. <laughs> There are no girls on the internet. Well, it does on Crush Crush. Um, well, it's nothing worth bragging about, but I've got a decently successful game stream and a couple of speedrunning world records. Oh, we got achievement score. Uh, sh she got a decently successful game stream. Oh. You must be a really professional gamer. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a rule not to bring up how incredibly geeky I am on a first date. You must have tricked me. <laughs> yeah. You're a curious sort, hey? Uh, last one. So, can I ask you something maybe a little inappropriate? Just a little safety one for sure. Hmm, that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it goes. Shoot. What is your deepest darkness secret? Hey, I'm drunk, but not that drunk. I've got stuff I hide from people. I might tell you about it someday if I trust you. End of story. So, is the interrogation over? Do I get my phone call now? Uh, this concludes the question and the answer for to off our date. Yes, beat my PB on the speed run. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. So, what about you? Any deep, dark secrets I should know about? Anything you want to get off your chest? <laughs> uh, I love motion controls. There, I said it. <laughs> okay, you got me with that one. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> You're cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Jasper said it. <laughs> Mia turns away for you for a moment. Ripped terribly the empty bottle she polished off only a minute ago. She looks into the bottle, then playfully shakes it upside down, looking disappointment. As she puts the bottle down and leans against an ar arcade comp bent, twirling a finger in her hair, you can't help but notice small details you haven't before. Her eyes are a virtually light mullet beneath the sun. The bell around her neck has a small playful charm whenever she toss her hair. Oh no, I, I don't want to say that! No! Uh, I don't want to read it. This is might be because of the inappropriate one, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just read it. I am not a huge fan of reading it. Ugh. Or pause it to read if you want. Hey, seeing as we've gotten to know each other so well, I've got kind of a weird favor to ask. Uh, what was it? Is this an okay segue? Are you worried that this is the part of the story where I turn out to be crazy and do terrible things to you? Joke's on you. I'm on. I'm into it. That crab. 
or I'm into it. <laughs> I somehow knew that was going to be your answer. It's because I'm a... I'm a psychic type. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. All right. As you know, I've worked in this silly place for quite a while. All this, you know, beep, boop, zap, zap stuff. Uh, games. That's it. <laughs> and for reasons I cannot fully explain, I have wanted to do something here. With, like, another person. Um... Not exactly the romantic... Not exactly the most romantic setting for that, but... I'm following you. What? No, I mean, not that. But, like, thank you. That also sounds really nice. Yeah, you're welcome. I subscribe Meal's channel and Twitter, so... I don't have a Twitch stream with me, which is kind of a bit suck. Because, unfortunately, I can't live stream on my... My laptop, I can't live stream because it might cause a mega laggy all of a sudden. I was hoping that... Uh, okay, this might sound either really dumb or really wackadoo. Mm. But I wanted someone to help me take some pictures. What? No, are you serious? You know, like saucy pictures. Neil. Please don't do this to me. You're gonna get demonetized from my video. You know what I mean? <laughs> wink, wink. Why in the world would you want saucy pictures of you in the arcade? Itch! No, I can't tell you. Just pretend it's like a like a kinky thing. Yeah, a kinky thing. <laughs> I don't know why Angel just says it. <laughs> So, is that a yes? A no? What you think? <gasps> Heck yes! <laughs> Yay! I knew this was the best idea! Yeah. Jasper, good luck! I don't wanna read <laughs> I don't wanna read it! Please. I don't wanna read those. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh oh. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Good luck, Jasper. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I kind of feel bad for Jasper. Oh, I almost forgot! I need to play this game for sure. It's actually super important to get a few shots of a live game. Uh, yeah, show me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure I sound really ridiculous, but I appreciate your help. <laughs> You're welcome, Mia. You're welcome. Now get me those photos of Spider Person. <laughs> yeah. Be a photographic, Jasper. Just don't do that too much, Bluster, okay? <laughs> okay. Ready. <laughs> Tickle meal. He's not a few more pictures. Uh oh. I don't want to read it because it might be because of the inappropriate. <laughs> Having a tickle fight. Yes. Yes, I do, Mio. Ah! Wow, okay. Mio's done on the first date. I night. Okay, so it requires two swive. Alright. 
Come on, the fun do. You peek out of the window before turning in and notice the stars. You're not used to seeing so many. You get lost in them until a yawn sneaks out on you and you turn in. Well, good night, Jasper, but get well soon because of me, you stayed. <laughs> All right, morning, Jasper and Blaze North. Ugh. The song on your alarm kind of slaps this morning. You get the eye of the tiger and jump out of bed. Okay, and then swive. Done. Hope this is worth it. Oh, let's check Bonnebel. Oh, Sugar, you miss our little get-together. I hope it wasn't anything serious that keep you away. Wait, um... Oh. Oh my gosh. I said a reminder, but I put the wrong day in. Oh, darling, I can't tell you how often I do that myself. I don't know how they get away calling them smartphones. Seems like a minister to me. Now, do you want to reschedule then, sugar? No worries. If, if your week is a bit fractured, we can always figure out another time that works. Uh, I love to. Whatever time works for you. Okay, so I guess the description told me to. Let's say tonight. Same locay. I told Lotus and Dermiti not to raise you for a missing out day. So, it will be safe, I promise. Heal then, sugar. Cute face. Alright. Oh dear, Jasper. Miss too many girls on portraits. Hello, it's Elle. I just want to let you know that you missed out date. It's no problem at all. I explained to all my family that something must have come up. Do you want to reschedule? Tomorrow afternoon? Please? Um, perhaps? Okay, says yes. Except for Elle's reschedule date, alright? Yes, let's reschedule for tomorrow afternoon. My apologies. Alright, I'll let my family know you're coming. See you then, take care. Okay, uh, Mystic Long Dialogue, uh, if you want to read it, just pause it if you want. I don't want to read the rest of it. Okay, I think you're done reading it, okay? Jasper, okay. Well, let's go to the cafe. So I told the doctor that I wasn't sure, but usually it's not nearly so flexible. Dimitri, enough! We have a customer, and not a moment too soon! Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House! Hey. What can I get for you today? Uh, large coffee, please. Here you are! Have a great day! 
Thank you. <laughs> Good job with that, Jasper. Okay, let's go, a fortune teller. I think the description say it. Hey, welcome back. Hey. We're back in time. Today's fortune will set you back ten dollars. Still wanna give it a go? Yeah. Right on. Let's do it. Alright, we gotta listen carefully, Blazor. Or Jasper. Let's hear it together. What is it? Quill's first secret is nothing to fear. Just be a good friend and scratch her right here. Wait! Who's Quill? Oh, okay, uh, some of you guys know, you. if you're in the first game, if you don't know who Quill is, Quill is actually the cat character from Crush Crush. If you might know, I played Crush Crush a very long time ago. That's for consider, but alright. I understand that. Mystic. Okay, just take a picture if you want. Let's go. Alright, there you go. Good luck. Right. Let's go, Jasper and Blazor. Alright, I read them all already. Bakery. Hey, sugar. Always a pleasure to see you walk through that door. Yeah. Hey. I was just about to take some cookies out. Take a look around and let me know if anything catches a sweet tooth. Hmm. And if you're really looking for something sweet, well, I'll be in the back. <laughs> oh, wow, Bonnabelle. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so I think it says go to the arcade. And I hope I... The, vid the video chart told me to... Dropping into the arcade, a quick search through the major of the uh, estates moment confirms Mio is nowhere to be seen. Oh, I'm really bored, but I'm gonna play that game. You assume she's either on a break or maybe cold and sick. Either way, you're a little disappointment. Disappoint. You do. However, over here, two people talking about her as you searching. You decide to listen to what they're saying. It's a guy and a girl playing separate arcades, but making snarky comments back and forth. Come on, let's go and see what's going on. You're ridiculous. Mio isn't into chicks. And even if she was, there's no way she goes for a stunted little troll like you. You have no chance. Who the heck are you? Who is this? The guy is glory at the gl glorying at the girl. But the girl maintains a bored expression as she plays. There is nothing so beta as a guy who uses expressions like into chicks and no chance. Rui! Yes, she's she's back. Anyways, Rui is actually my favorite girl in Crush Crush. You can check out my demon art on my profile if you want. And check out my favorite characters if you like. So, yeah. I'm glad she's back. Holy, we never see her for a while. You're a pathetic specimen, and Mio is top tier. Girls got options. And I know for sure she swings both ways. She always treats me extra nice when I wear this one little skirt she likes. Oh. Just cause Mio is nicer to you when you- Nope! Doesn't mean she's into you. She's nice to everyone, you're not special! Oh, that little prick. That goes both ways though, doesn't it? You are the least special person I've ever met. So, maybe you're a little right about that. Screw you. 
The two continue to bicker with neither of them backing down. That's when you notice that they also appear to be competing. The two games are linked, and you can see they locked in a competitive round. A bust a glove. You also notice that notice that the two power of the table for a, the second stamps are hidden from the view. Uh, Jasper, what are you doing? Look, some of this guy is gonna taste his own medicine. Jasper unplugged the guy's gamer. You un con compass conspicuously reach over and unplug the guy's game. Holy dang, Jasper! He so explodes in anger. What the hell? What just happened? Oh, wow, Jasper! Breaker blown. Or you jarred something loose. You probably hacked the cabinet like you always do. I wouldn't waste my talents on something as mundane as beating you at Busta Glove. Now pay up. After swearing more and hitting the ca cable knit, the guy finally relaxed. He reached into his jacket and hands the girl a worn of bills. Thanks. Let me know when you want a rematch. The guy shoves the money in her pockets and swatters away as though nothing happened. The guy storms out. Who the heck is this guy? This seems to be... A, a nerve guy going on. Uh, Blaze or I, I know I'm having an anger issue so here, so... Let's just keep a secret and don't want to talk in about it. Let's just ignore it. Huh? As the girl passes by you, without looking in the direction, she tosses some of the cash down beside you. Then she leaves. Oh. You grab the cash and counter it up. She tosses you 1,000. You pocket the cash and leave before anyone grows suspicious. We gotta get out of here quick. Oh man. Oh! Message. Hey, how's it going? So, how day was a lot of fun. Smile. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I really, really hope you had fun. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you had fun too. I realized this morning that I came on a little strong and you were pretty generous with me. So, um, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. That was inc kind of incredible. I hope we can do that again sometime. I mean, like, date. I mean, the other stuff would be great too. But I meant date. Like, talking and stuff too. Okay, this is going a bit off the rails. I just want to tell you I enjoy all the things. And I hope to see you again soon. Talk to you soon. Ace. Right, hero. Random tank message is a brand. Is random. I saw a pine card today that looked exactly like you. Please don't talk that the wrong way. Pine cards are legit. I was going to take out a picture and a squirrel start chasing me and it was this whole thing. Anyway, random, feel free to ignore this tag. I'll bug you about hanging out again soon. Take care. Alright. Well, this is gives me a uh, strong wacko, I believe. Huh. Alright. Um, okay, this one has to be Eli's date. Okay, uh, don't worry, I got an earpiece and my phone with me. Please, just check on your phone if you want, okay?
Let's go, Jasper. Eli State. Good luck. Arriving at the park, it only takes you a moment to spot Eli's magic, magic rainbow hair from across the park. A lot. It only takes a moment for Eli to spot you in turn, who quickly waves and rushes over. Hey, babe. How are you this fine and glorious day? Come here. Kiss, kiss. Love, love. Hey, Eli. <laughs> I was so excited to hear from you. I had planned to be sort of bored today, neat chips until I got a tummy ache, so this is infinitely better. So, what's on your mind? Where shall we frolic and make our innuendos amongst the adoring public? If it were up to me, and it likely is, I wouldn't mind a little roll in the park, followed by a roll out of the park to places unknown, followed by a roll of an entirely different nature, assuming everything goes my way. <laughs> I don't know why you're gonna do that, Eli, but... <laughs> yeah. Peachy keen, Jelly Bean? <laughs> Working around place is tight. I knew you would see it my way, because I can see the future. <gasps> I'm magical as hell! <laughs> Gosh. So how are you enjoying Sabrosa so far? Has it gotten its long, boring tentacles into you yet? I mean, boring, like, not entertaining. Not the good kind. Oh my god, <laughs> Eli, no! Don't! <laughs> I am not a huge fan of when I hear that. Everyone in town seems super nice. And those that aren't are really oblivious about it. Isn't that the truth? I had what you might call an awkward upbringing. And this town had quite a few people that were hellbent on making it suck a big, girthy melon. Hmm. Uh, why? But the joke's on them. Everything is rainbows now, and I can carry on like a pony gone baloney. Oh, I noticed the bag. This one is from a My Little Pony Gen 3. Uh. Anyway, did I talk about it already? I'm not sure. I already have forgotten already. Well, I'm tickled pink to have someone so, so adorable to cling awkwardly to. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still hoping you'll crack Euro's outer shell and get to her nutty center. But we can fumble around in the dark for a bit until then. Well, uh, I've got my red seal in fumbly. I could do it with one hand tied behind my back, of course. Promise? <laughs> Shut up. You're inappropriate. Honestly, the summer tourist rush hasn't been delivering much the last few years, in terms of intrigue and desire. There used to be a lot more parties on the beach and people throwing up outside the clubs late at night. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life, and there was a time no one got any sleep because of all the loud music and festivals happening all the time. <sighs> Alas, I guess nothing lasts forever. Hmm. How come? But anyway, I want to know what's going on here. In this area that I'm pointing at. You. Who are you? What makes you tick? What's your favorite dish? Um, hmm. Favorite dish? You couldn't cook it. You have to order it from Zazimbar? Yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes! A 10D fan in my midst who knows the lyrics to one of my favorite songs! Oh, I never heard about that. Uh... What? You just got put on a list, sweetie. It's an exclusive list that has my name on the top of it. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Can you stop doing that for the joke? Before this date goes any further, I have a confession to make. What? What are you gonna say for Jasper? I like your butt. Why'd you stare at Jasper's butt? <laughs> Why? But, darling... Those shorts are not doing a thing for you. Look at them. They're like what happens when you make clothing out of old curtains. And the material remembers it needs to hang straight down and block the view. <laughs> Me and Blaine are just hiding in the bush and see Jasper and Eli like we're doing. <laughs> Lemo. You must come into the store and let me dress you. And undress you. In the professional way. Maybe the sexy way. I don't know. I'm a bit all over the place here. Oh my god, Eli, no. <laughs> Please don't do that for Jasper. Not too much, please. Not too much. 
please promise me that you'll drop by the store and let me have my way with you? And by that, I mean your butt. And by that, I mean your shorts. Um, <laughs> um, hmm, maybe, if you're good. Ooh, now isn't that an interesting response? Whoa, holy crap, that's a... That's a lot of hearts amount here. It suggests, quite unjustifiably, mind you, that there is a chance that I won't be good. And let me assure you that that is just not a possibility on the table. Hmm. But we'll play it your way. I'll show you just how good I can be. All right. So, in case you weren't aware. Uh. Oh, yeah. Eli is, is a male from Blush Blush, I believe. Normally, I don't tend to interject that one on a first date, but I'm liking you a lot, and I think there's potential here that I want to explore. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna make Eli and Jesper's ship. That's a big no-no for me. Um, he's actually is not. <laughs> and, as I always say, I'm not interested in what's in your pants, unless I want to get in them. I'm not saying this was obvious or not, darling. I just want to make sure you're an informed and consenting teammate. Uh, holy. What was it? Um, the audio said it. I forgot. I don't have a log. Uh, oh, this is nothing. Okay, just nothing. Oh my god. Hmm. Wow, I, uh, I had a sneaky suspicious. I'll figure out, I would find out at some point. Oh, yes. That tends to be the way the story goes. <laughs> yeah. But depending on what role in the story my teammates tend to play, this little plot twist sometimes switches up the story a lot. Hence my blunt honesty. <laughs> That's true, yeah. If it's a problem at all, though, I get it, love. No need for explanations. I'll still think you're pretty neat, and will fantasize about doing stuff to you. I imagine you must have a couple questions, though. Ask away! I am the Book of Eli, and you can study me. Scholarship is sexy. So, hmm, are you a, a girl or a guy? Do you have a preferred pronouns? Because Jasper is he and him. You're absolutely devastatingly adorable when you're trying to be respectful and non-judgmental. Mm. To be honest, I'm Eli. Sometimes I like to slim down, wear dresses, feel pretty while I'm doing my best mermaid impression at the beach. Sometimes I hit the gym, stuff a sock in my drawers, and try to lure in the ladies. Oh. <laughs> I saw it on the fan art. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it on the fan art. I saw it on the fan art. On Twitter. Lol. I like boxer briefs and lacy thigh straps. I like being top, bottom, middle, spectator. I like kissing and hugging and biting and snuggling. I like it all. So, I'm kind of a new Eli every day. Oh my god, Eli. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, poor Jasper. He got... Uh, lost his mind, though. You just so happen to have met Eli in a pretty dress phase. Next week, it might be cardigans and cologne. But, I'm always looking for a good time, so just call me whatever you like, as long as it's nice and you buy me pretty things. Hmm. You keener, I can tell you're racking your brain for more enticing questions. Wait, are you into guys or girls? Yes! What? Nah, but seriously, I'm pretty much attracted to everything with two feet in a heartbeat. He's a pansexual, you know. I like bears and beauties. Tall or small, every nook and cranny of every ethnicity you care to name. I'm just so gosh darn full of love and junk that I can't decide. So, I like to go to the buffet and load up the plate with a little bit of everything. <laughs> you know what they say, talk is cheap, but kisses are free, so feel free to keep chatting. Is this like an open secret? If you're asking me if I'm in the closet, <laughs> the answer is WHOA! Knows the score. Probably because I've tried to score. 
But, in all seriousness, I would be surprised if anyone in town didn't know. I've marched in every pride parade in the state, and have wound up on the news several times for expressing myself. Ah! Pride month. Yeah, pride month. Right here. More! Ask me your questions. It's a very specific kink I have. Well, this has been educational. <laughs> educational is my favorite personality trait, which is good because you are far from the first to use that word to describe me. So, now that we've got all that out there, and I do mean my- Nope. I'd love to give you this chance to choose what happens next. Language, can you stop that, please? <laughs> no drama, no broken hearts. This is the part where I open the door and offer you the way out. If I'm not the cup of eggnog you were expecting. Hmm. We'll still be friends, don't worry. I've had lots of practice with this. What do you say? I'm actually even more interested now. If that's possible. If that's okay. Nice! Aw, that's actually a super sweet thing to say! You charming little Nanaimo bar. <laughs> oh. My. Gosh! I just noticed where we are! Our little trip has taken us around the block, up several side streets, and... We've somehow managed to find ourselves right outside the mall! What a delicious and tantalizing coincidence! It's as though Fade and Politely Following Your Date Around Town have come together to make something magical happen. <laughs> I said come together. Hmm. What do you say? Want to come in and play dress up? Little fashion show? There's a few outfits I'd love to slip you into. And out of, if I'm being honest. <laughs> well, wait a minute. You had me at fashion show? Yes! I knew it! I mean, I had myself at fashion show, so how could anyone else resist? Wow. Follow me! The game is afoot! Uh, okay. Ah! Jasper, wait for us! Wait for me! The two of you reach the mall and Eli excitedly leads you to the backdoor labor, employers only. Here we are, the cheap boutique for freaks and cliques. <laughs> We've got a little something for everyone, don't you know? Yeah. Eli proceeds a set of keys for somewhere jaggling them around in dramatic fashion before unlocking the door and gesturing for you to enter. I'm, I'm ready to hear, Jasper. I have a mic with me. Eli leans you through a maze of a back hallways leading to viciously other stores before reaching one label, Cheek Boutique. As the two of you enter, Eli quits this arm in alarm. Sign happily. happily. If you'll excuse me, I'd like to slip into something more comfortable first. And by comfortable, I mean less comfortable because nothing is more comfortable than a sundress. Oh, okay. BRB! All right, Jasper will wait. It like disappear for a while as you look up over the racks of clothes hidden in the back. There's nothing that looks like it's perfectly fit, and everything is expensive. After a couple minutes, Elise returns. Hey! Elise comes out, out in pants and a shirt. His makeup is gone, and he's viciously blushing. So, yes, this is also Eli. Eli oh. likes to dress up and go with whatever strikes his fancy on any given day. Oh my god. Are we cool with Eli? Hm. Maybe I, maybe you do, Eli. But, that's just one more thing, Eli. I have something to say to do this. I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> you too, Eli. Oh my god, Jasper! <laughs> he stepped closer and kisses you. Dude looks like a lady! <laughs> oh my god, we got it! The two of you start to... Oh! I don't want to read it! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> mm 
<laughs> oh, me and Blazor got flustered so quick. <laughs> Physically, Sightman. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> oh, Jasper and Eli! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that's a thing in there! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, Jasper, are you right? Oh, you're fine, you're good. Ethne, okay, Bonabel, go for the Bonabel, for God's sake. Anyway, do we have enough skills in 10? We do, okay. Go, 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 Jasper! Let's go, go, go! Later. What is the good and proper way to address her ample bosom, which she obviously put so much effort into? Alright, okay. Okay, this has to be it, okay. I say, thank goodness. Thank goodness for those eyes. Oh, well, sugar, that's just... That's just perfect. Beg your pardon, what were we talking about? I think I got a bit distracted there. Well, sorry about that, Bonnie and Bell. I think you did it like... He did like too much for you. We're apologies for that. Oh. Was that your phone? Oh, sugar, that's me. I've got to get back to the bakery and get a cake in the oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just turning the heat up to cook them faster. Darling, the time just flew by. I had such a wonderful time. I'd sure love to get together again and do a little dinner and dancing. Are you busy next week? My calculator is... My calculator is just suddenly clean completely. Wonderful, sugar. I can't wait. Thanks for being a sweetheart. I'm looking forward to returning the favor. Don't be a stranger now. After a while, crocodile. Hmm. Oh! Finally we got Bonabelle's Date! Ah, oh, A+, plus. let's go! Let's go! We fixed it up just in time. Okay, so the description says, Motivated and buff. Very motivated. Right. An ambulance passes by, giving you a strange sense of fault bond. I forgot to do audio it. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> you thought you heard thunder early this morning. It looks like it's going to rain. Oh. Uh, well, good thing you're a dragon in fire, Blazor, but I hope you survive. But good luck. Alright, buff, buff, buff. Light six. Right. L. All right. Hello, it's L. I just want to say that I'm looking forward to this afternoon. Hopefully, you read this before then. Otherwise, it might be confusing later. Take care. See you soon. Right, Eero. Hey, hey. Just a quick text to say I'll be out of town this week. In case you were hoping for someone to kick your butt, not beach volleyball. I'll message you when I'm back, if I remember, and there's a pretty good chance of that not happening. Anyways, have a great weekend. Alright, Eli. Oh wow, I'm a little shaky today. <laughs> that was so fun. I hope that we can... Do more of that in the near future. Now, no, probably not now, but soon. Thanks, you were a legendary stallion galloping in the fields of my dreams. So well done there. I'm going to be wheeling at customers all day. Looking forward to next time. Kiss, kiss. Uh, look, let's just say we don't want to talk Sonya for what just happened, okay? Don't tell Sonya about this. <laughs> okay, Mystic, just pause to read it if you want. 
I can't read all of it. Okay, say hi to the quill for me. All right, noted. All right, let's go mystic one, I believe. This should be... Talk to it, okay. Let's see who is it. Hey, welcome back. We're back. $25 will get you your fortune. Fair trade. Here. Right on. Let's do it. Right. Okay, who? Mio's next secret is the source of her fame. Keeping aim without shame is the name of the game. Oh! Keeping aim without shame is the name of the game. All right, take a picture. Go for a little with that. All right, there you go. Good luck. Let's go. Okay, cafe. Oh my goodness. Welcome by the Queen Bee. You catch a willy of coffee that overwhelms your sense and compels you to purchase a cup. Poking your head inside, however, you can see a long corner of other customers, an enormous, simply unacceptable line. You turn to leave, but you notice this lotus behind the counter. She apologized to the customer. Apparently, she got the wrong. She got the order wrong. Oh, oh no, that's not good. She spots you, points to the cup, and mumps the words for you for free. Then dashing off to the make the right drink. You take the cup. Somehow it tastes better than any other cup of coffee you ever heard. Oh my god, Jasper! You leave with a thousand ice stares from the other customer. Who must wait and pay? Glorious is yours. Let's get out of here. Run! <laughs> ah. Ah. Holy crap, that was terrifying. Uh, cafe. And so I said to her, that one isn't mine. Mine is much, much bigger. Dimitri! We have a customer! Shush your crazy mouth! <laughs> Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House! What can I get for you today? Uh, lush coffee, please! Here you are! Have a great day! Yeah. Holy moly! <laughs> okay, bakery! Hey, sugar. Nothing freshly baked today, I'm afraid. All the flour I got shipped yesterday turned out to be contaminated. National recall. All right, seen it. All right. Oh, all right. Let's go for L. This is it, Jasper. Holy moly. It takes a while to drive to her address. L give you. It's far from town, on a rose barnery with a fancy house in an, on enormous pro properties. Properties. Whoa! Holy moly, Jasper! Look at this! This is Elle's house. Wait. If it's not Elle's house, read estimate. 
Sorry, Jasper, my mistake. You finally reached the right house, which is the fanciest by far. And as you drive up to the main gate of the Estens, you heard a voice over the intercom. Yes? Can I help you? What business brings you to the Reed Estate? Uh, I live business at the office, but it would be my pleasure to come in. Miss Reed is expecting me. Ah, well put. Very good then. Please come up to the house. I shall meet you at the front entrance. Uh, okay. As you reach the front door, a rather interesting young man approaches. Good day. Welcome to Reed Manor. My name is Dorian Reed. I'm more or less the head of the household, which, as you can see, includes manning the front gate. Dorian Reed. All right. That's new. More to the point, it is also my distinct privilege to have the title of Elle's older brother, which means I get to first meet anyone who calls upon her. Elle's brother, okay. Oh, it's really nice to meet you, Dorian. And, but, <laughs> I'm Jasper. Oh, okay, mentioned Dad. And so here, destiny finds us. How do you do? Ah, uh, I'm doing well. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Charmed, I'm sure. Hm. Well, as much as I enjoy standing in my driveway and bantering with a stranger, there are other matters I must attend to today. None so as important as this, but only marginally so. So let us not beat around the bush. I have a sworn duty to uphold. And being cute about it only draws out the process, then risks, misunderstandings. <laughs> what are your intentions with my sister? Oh, um, pretty much just ice cream and conversation at this point. Ice cream and conversation are both in the acceptable category. Wait here just a moment. I'll go fetch Elle. Elle, dear! Your guest has arrived! Huh? Oh, hello! It's nice to see you again. Oh my god, look at the background! Oh, that's so cool! Wow! This is Jess's first visit. In Reed's instance. Dorian, I hope you weren't, um, overbearing with our guest. As I'm sure your friend will attest, I was nothing if not polite and welcoming. Hmm. I only made a handful of threats. Quite harmless, I assure you. Oh my, I hope not. <laughs> Have fun, Elle. Might I suggest taking our new friend for a walk around the grounds? The landscapers just finished trimming the hedges on the south lawn into shapes of animals. It's very fetching. The two of you have fun. Let me know if you need anything. You especially, Al. Let me know if you feel a bad spell coming on. Of course, Dorian. See you later. Hmm. Oh. I'm so glad to see you. When I saw Dorian's hair... I thought he was you for a moment and start flirting with him. Oh, <laughs> I believed you for a moment there. I'm usually not very good at picking up on sarcasm, so I appreciate it when it's neatly laid out like fresh linen. <laughs> well, that was a good thing, Elle. Ow. Dorian is just super protective of me, and he has this way of making my guess... Scarce. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, dear. Oh, well, as I like to say, all your precious things are worth it protecting, but I have my sister named Sonia. But you should totally definitely meet her if you like. Oh, yes. Well, thank you for saying so. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I hope you meant that as a compliment, because otherwise, I have no earthly clue what you could have meant. Dorian was right about one thing, though. The gardens look very nice right after hedging. 
Would you care to walk with me? I see, I understand. Won't miss it for the world. Well, if the world rings you, feel free to take the call. I would hate to come between the two of you. Well, yeah, that's true, Elle. You take her by the hand and follow her through the large mansion door, stepping out into the gardens. Every time I visit the estate, I walk down this way. I like sitting by the creek that runs through the west end of the property, just past the stables. Whoa! I never seen Reed's garden so big. Er, I suppose that might sound a bit parvenu. Sorry, I don't want to come across as a snob. I don't even know what Pernar means, but it sounds really pretty the way you say it. Oh, well, I suppose if it's too pretty, I could try growling or something when I say it. I just find it's difficult not to come across as a braggart when giving the tour, especially if someone is on their best behavior. And I'm making it awkward without realizing it. Okay, here. Just through this little hedge. I'll show you my secret place. Okay, Elle. I'll follow you. And here we are. My little quiet place. My home away from home, away from home. <laughs> Whoa. Oh! I got a butterfly land on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you do, Blazenor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Oof. Butterfly on my... Play just flies me every time, but... I hope it... Let's stay calm. Dorian hardly ever comes down here. He dislikes the butterflies. So, whenever I need some alone time, I take a book and a picnic down here and enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does true, El. Yes. What do you think? Kind of pretty, in that magic garden sort of way. The view is definitely pretty. From where I'm standing. Uh, well, that's good. If you found it unusually ugly, I would probably just have to ask you to leave. <laughs> oh, uh... Okay, I promise I don't want to do that too much, El. I promise. So, I've been thinking a lot about our short exchange in the bakery. I was wondering if you could clear up some things for me. Okay, then why? I always get a bit flustered when strangers strike up conversations, so very likely I was a bit behind the conversation. Oh, I did that too! Yeah, I, I didn't talk up for a conversation, but I have a problem. I was just wondering, what made you start chatting with me? I thought for a few moments that maybe you were selling protein shakes, or soap, or something. Mm. So, I was just worried that maybe I missed something important, because I couldn't quite make sense of it. Well... Should... Should I say it out loud? I thought you look really kind... in... Interesting and pretty. It took all my nerves to say hello. Wow. I mean, that's a delightful reason that I wasn't expecting you to say. Yeah. Mm. Well, good then. That's settled. Is it uh, warmer than usual out today? Oh, but look at me talking your poor ear off. I've barely given you a chance to breathe, let alone partake in the conversation. Well, what brings you to town? Do you have any burning questions to ask? Oh gosh, uh, let me just save. Um, I'm just visiting town for the month. I heard this place was beautiful, practically the beach. Oh my, yes it is. Though, to be honest, I haven't been to the beaches since I was very young. Oh, why? Dorian and my parents don't tend to trust public places like that. They usually insist I swim in the pool, where Francois the lifeguard can watch out for me. Oh... Jeez. 
Anything else on your mind? Well, mm. I always want to ask someone with a mansion. Is there a secret cave underneath it? Like, in case you want to become a superhero. <laughs> no, silly. Or at least I've never come across one in my searches. No, I'm afraid there's no superhero cave, or ghosts, or secret tunnels. Nothing actually interesting gets to happen here. Well, I think Jasper is afraid of ghosts, so he's a skinny dog person. Person, he was, and yeah, uh, I gave the inspiration that Jasper is a little bit based off Shaggy from Scooby Doo. I think. I can tell you're thinking hard. Your nose does this cute scrunchy thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do have a burning question. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I must know. Hmm. It changes daily, I think. Today it is butter pecan. But I feel like tomorrow will be a maple walnut kind of day. Butter pecan and maple walnut. Ooh. Interesting flavor. Is that everything? Well, Yorara said something about a bad spell. Can I ask what he meant? Oh, certainly. I sort of wish he hadn't said anything, because it's really nothing important. But Dorian fusses about me so much, because I have a condition. Uh, what is your diagnosis? Don't worry. It isn't anything contagious or life-threatening. I have what's called narcolepsy. Have you ever heard of it? Narcolepsy? Uh... I never heard about that. Uh, is it that where you can create and control zombies? What? <laughs> no, no, you silly goof. That's necromancy. But boy, would things be different if that were actually the case. <laughs> <laughs> really, Jasper? <laughs> oh dear. Where did you get that kind of joke come from? Narcolepsy is a brain condition that affects my level of sleepiness and wakefulness. Sometimes, I get spontaneously tired and fall asleep, even in the middle of doing something active. Oh! S level of sleepiness and wakefulness. Oh, so that's why she sleeps on the beach. It's not quite as dramatic as it's sometimes shown on TV. But I have fallen asleep in some pretty hazardous situations. Oh, right, yeah. One time I was riding my horse, and luckily I was strapped in tight. But it's severe enough that I don't drive or skydive, I suppose? I don't mind telling you, though, because I usually let new acquaintances know right away, just so they don't think I'm being rude if I fall asleep during our conversation. I hope all of that doesn't make you uncomfortable. I've had a few friendships hit a bump because of it. Uh, yeah. Just my opinion, but it sounds like you got it hurt. Hando, is your brother's overdoing the whole protecting L thing? Is that true? Dorian means well. He and my parents have always been super protective of me since I was little. They worry that someday I'm going to sleepwalk into the river or something. Adorable L. Her brother and her parents were super protected of her. Whoa. That sounds like a problem. Jeez. That's part of the reason why Dorian had to meet you first, before any socializing. My parents insist I get family approval before going out with anyone. Oh, we have a common L. Oh, yeah, I, I don't socialize anyone a long time ago, but then I used to get a hang on a bit. This time. I kind of related to L because I didn't socialize to anyone. It's hard to fault them. But I do wish they would relax a little. But I'm doing okay. 
Yeah, uh, speaking of which, I was diagnosed by autism since I was two years old. And I was not acting like a child, like a bit, so I was staying quiet in touch. So, yeah, I does that. Well, we should probably pack up. I have a violin lesson in 25 minutes, and Maestro Alessandrini is quite unforgiving if I'm late. Hmm. But I had a very nice time, walking in circles around my brother's house. <laughs> I do believe that you passed the first Dorian test, though. So, he might actually let me meet up with you somewhere else. Like the cinema, or my own house. Wh you have your own house, Elle? Why did you never told us? Would you like to have an outing with me? Sometime? <laughs> oh, <laughs> You took the words right out of my mouth. So I'll check the answer. I was hoping for... For... From... Yours? Yes. Oh, wonderful. And you're right. That would have been my answer. You word thief. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit me today. Meeting my brother is an odd formality. I dare say I wouldn't miss it if it went away. Hmm. Yeah. But, I deeply appreciate the effort. The pleasure is all mine. I, I can assure you, that's debatable. Yeah. I'll be in touch. Until next time, take care. Yep. Bye, Elle. Oh. We got a good- We got another secret for L. I wonder why what happened. Alright. July 6th. Oh! Uh, Cassie. Hey, I just want you to know that I'm dressed in something cute and putting it on a fat. a. on a little fashion show for my stuffed animal. Anyway, don't be bad, and maybe I'll let you take a peek. Or maybe not. Just don't be a jerk. Okay, stop bragging me. Okay, bye. <laughs> God damn it, Cassie. Don't do this for Jasper. Oh, right? Hey, I don't have time to talk, but I was thinking about you at work. And I was accidentally staring at someone else, and apparently I was a bit bedroom eyes doing it. Long story short, I was thinking about you and rotted me an hour of awkward flirting from a pimply 30 year old. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> so, yeah, think about ya. Hope oh, your day is going good. Good face. Okay, L. Hello, it's L. I just want. To let you know that I had a wonderful time with you on our little walk. I hope that, should you feel similar, you would be interested in future walks. We could also sit with one another and chat. I'm fairly flexible. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day and I hope to hear from you again soon. Take care. What is this house? Alert! This is Cyrene, your adorable digital personal assistant. There's there's an emergency situation at your place of resonate. Your dex motion sensor has been activated. Please confirm the pursuit of an intruder and notify law and enforcement immediately. Alert! This is Cyrene again. Make sure you drink enough milk. Wait, that's an intruder? Someone's in the house. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna save. Oh gosh. I'm gonna stop right here. Like, holy moly. Uh, alright. Well, I think that was it on Hush Hush Episode 4. But we got an intruder in our house someday. So I don't know who is it inside a house. So, I'm gonna have to take a big break and edit the video on tomorrow. So, 
thank you for watching, guys. So, I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye, guys!